Hi there, Virgo. Thank you for joining me for your monthly forecast for July. The month begins in dramatic fashion with the Sun in opposition to Pluto. But what is Pluto? Pluto is the tiniest entity on the edge of the solar system. Some astronomers say it's not even a planet. But you know, you can call me Janice. I'm still going to say the same things. And I can tell you, Pluto is mightily important. So, this tiny being is in opposition to the Sun, the furnace at the heart of all our existence. Now for you, the Sun is very much focused on socialising, but you could have a situation in the early moments of July when you're trying to please all of the people all of the time and you may fail. And this is partly because of that opposition and also because of the uh, full moon which occurs on the 3rd. So, just be conscious that you need to be aware of your time management. And you probably need to focus on the things that are important to you. And the trick is going to be in communicating well with the people you care about. But if you're in a love relationship, your partner could moan that you're out with your friends too much. Or your friends could moan that you're far too smitten with a partner and not spending enough time with them. Then again, your creative drive may be blunted because you know you've got to be realistic about the type of goals that you can develop for the long term. Yet don't underestimate your drive and ambition because you can turn on the charm for absolute fun in the first nine days of this month. In fact, there may be some confidential discussions you're going to have in the first two weeks of this month. You may be putting out the feelers, finding out more information. Someone could put in a good word for you. Be very, very protective or helpful. This is a trend that you're inheriting from the end of June, so make it work for you. It's possible that this can see you get some kind of promotion, and it very much is a case of who you know as much as what you know. But then there is also a fantastic new moon on the 19th of July, which suggests that perhaps the logjam that occurred socially at the start of the month can be unraveled, and you get more into the flow of having some fun. But Mercury, your ruler, does start to go backwards from the 15th, in a more psychological part of your scope. You might find yourself becoming a little bit more worrisome at times, right through to the end of the month, quite frankly. And with the sun moving on the 22nd, also into this very private sector, your desire to perhaps zone back into yourself and have a bit more private time is going to be much stronger. Don't worry about this. This is just a natural process that happens every year at this time. You need to basically do a bit of a personal audit, look back over the previous 12 months and think about what it really was and meant for you. Become much more conscious of your motives, become more aware of your spiritual needs or just have some peace and quiet and be with the people who really count. It's been a real pleasure being with you. Thank you for joining me. Good luck and goodbye for now. If you'd like a live reading with one of my team of astrologers or psychics or tarot readers, you can do so through private webcam. Once you connect, no one else can hear the conversation, but you can chat to any of the team by instant messenger for free until you find the person you feel most comfortable with. Now the charges for this are incredibly affordable, starting at 99 cents per minute for the USA and worldwide, and 69 pence a minute in the UK. And if you're not happy, you get your money back 100%. That's guaranteed. So it's a really good situation for you. Thank you and goodbye.